Okay, in today's video, uh, what I wanted to show is a question I got um, over an email. And this was in regards to adding JSRs, you know, as far as uh, your jump to subroutines. So for those who um, tend to use uh, the bar up here to jump to subroutine, if you've seen uh, any of my videos or if you've seen, you know, anything, any of my training that I do, uh, whether it be my Udemy courses or uh, my training that I do, um, my Patreon, or even some of my uh, YouTube videos. This is going to be a real short YouTube video, but uh, what I wanted to show is a uh, how I do the JSRs, and then the way you can do it if you're not using pass in with parameters. Um, so, first and foremost, you either A, at, go to add a rung, or you double click, I choose to double click the reason being is because I have a bar up here now then I can type in JSR which is jump to subroutine and it will pop up with no parameters so whereof and I'll show you in uh, in the program control section if you choose to use a, uh, a JSR right so you have obviously a JSR with external routine, which is completely different. Um, this would be a normal JSR. Let's just pull it down. You see the difference in that, right? So you see that you have a JSR, which a JSR you can point to any. Um, this is just a, um, in this instance, I'm showing, um, this is one of my, my files that I'm using for my servo course. Um, but I just wanted to show you this, um, you know, while I'm, I'm doing uh, the course, I just had to, you know, answer this question. So, uh, again, uh, you can add your routine that you want to jump to there. Uh, this one, you can do the same thing, um, but you need to be passing parameters, right? So, think about it that way. So, if, if I wanted to, to just jump to a subroutine, I need to be passing parameters. So, I need to be passing the input parameter or an output parameter. But I will say this, you can just act like you're putting something in and don't put anything in and they will disappear. So if you just simply do that, they'll disappear and then you can have a normal jump to subroutine. So uh, the JSR is easily done. Again, I'll show you that. There's two ways to do it. Uh, you can either A, double click up here and type it in. This would be again you can do text you can do ascii um i choose to do ascii and then i say jsr okay so um you could do it that way well let's let's go ahead and delete it or you can drag it down from over here on your top um instruction bar which is in program control you can drag it down from the top if you're not choosing to use input parameters, then our uh, input parameters or return parameters, then just simply click it like you're going to add something and then click above it and it will disappear. So then you have your normal JSR and you're able to use it. Now, if you're using, I will say this, if you're using the jump um, passing parameters and stuff like that, that's a slightly different uh, topic for another video because that can get pretty um, drawn out and stuff so I won't get into that right now but I will make a video on that uh, so don't you know don't worry um, if you want to, to see that that's that's great I'll do that but I just wanted to show um, you know that feature as well the quick way to do that because a lot of people have asked me that on um, you know on email or the YouTube and I just wanted to give a, a helpful way to do that you know, again, I, I have this channel um, to support people that are trying to learn. And I really do appreciate the support that it gets given to my channel. So, again, whether you are a one of my Patreons that are in my Patreon membership that get extra special training uh, that you request, or you've been through my Udemy courses, or you're just simply someone who subscribed to my YouTube channel, I want to thank you and thank you for the support so uh, again I do this to help people so the better that we can spread the word and keep growing the more people we can help um, so and I mean that from everybody following 
Um, and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe so you get all the no notifications. And that would be, um, you know, just helps you and helps us grow. So um, I'm going to keep making videos as long as you guys are wanting to know more and uh, drop me some suggestions. Um, and by the way, if you want to join my Patreon, um, that'd be great too. Because I mean, I, it, it's nothing as far as the cost or nothing like that. I just want to, you know, as far as being, there's a lot of free stuff on there you can check out. But um, the link will be below. So just check it out and then what you think. And uh, you can get a lot of specialized stuff there too as well. So, but again, uh, if you just want to subscribe, hey, great. Uh, I really, really do appreciate that too as well and, and spreading the word because we're just trying to grow and help people. And that's really the, the reason I do this. So thank you. And uh, again, this was a real short video. So um, we'll, we'll pick up and make some more. Thank you.